Now they don't want you to know how much concrete, steel, copper or rare earths go into these things. A side-by-side -side comparison of raw resources would no doubt terrify those who claim to care about the environment. Land use alone gives us some idea of the wasteful nature of intermittent, low intensity and unreliable wind power. Nick, are we wasting the world's precious, rare resources on this folly? After all, they're all going to end up in landfill within 20 years or earlier. Well, exactly. So, you know, they're not renewable. And um, you say that side is just carefully ignored or skirted around. You know, they, they take the view, oh, well, you've got to break a few eggs to make an omelette, or they, they apply that kind of logic to it. But we, we when you look at the scale of this, um, you know, and you see it up close and you see, um, we, we shot some video, uh, which we showed on Battleground of one of these blades, an 86 metre long blade, being driven down the Hume Highway at night and then turns off through all these little villages and whatever to get to where it's got to be put up. It's a massive operation. There was six police cars in that convoy just to get one blade down. So you see the scale of it and you go, this is nuts. Uh, and then I think the thing that really shocks, shocked me when I, when I found out and started to go and see wind farm sites, or wind, we should call them wind factories, of course, wind factories under construction, was the devastation of natural vegetation. You know, uh, square kilometres of native forest just bulldozed. And this is koala habitat, uh, goodness knows what else just bulldozed and it's justified apparently. And then when you start to get to these ones that are high and rocky, then in comes the TNT and they blast the side off hills. It, it's, it is frightening, I'm not exaggerating here. And we've got the pictures that we've shot over the, over the last few months to show what they've done. Uh, it, it is, it, it's vandalism. And it's funny, Alexander, that I now find myself uh, being the greenie in this argument because the real greenies will not take this up at all. They just won't go anywhere near this. They know it's happening, but they just don't know how to deal with it because they've been arguing for renewables for so long. And a lot of those green organisations get a lot of funding from renewable energy companies.